pledge allegiance to the flag. Remember this, we told you the story on March 24th of last year, an Annapolis family forced home for something called at-home learning right at the beginning of the pandemic. Now, 353 days later, it seems like a lifetime ago that parents and teachers were learning how to launch and log into Zoom and Google Meet classes. But now, almost a year to the date later, more and more students are finally getting back into their school buildings at least a few days a week. And for some Baltimore City School students, that all starts Monday. Just days from now, they'll get reacquainted with once familiar hallways, classrooms, and of course, their friends. 11 News' Jason Newton spent time with one family who each have their own reasons for answering the school bell. For families across Maryland, it's a tough decision, schooling at home or in the classroom. There's one family, not just the kids are going back, but so is mom. Let's look at the words that are on the side. These are the words we're going to use. It's become a team effort. That's Team Holmes, Mom, Emily, and first grader Hunter up against a familiar foe, homework. The truth be told, everything has been homework over the last year for the entire Holmes family. I'm just also ready for my kids to see their friends again. I'm ready for them to have stories about the day, whether they're good or bad, um, because our days have just been the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I am ready for things to look different day to day. And so is Hunter. You know what he's ready for? School. Actual school. Why? Literally. Because I get to actually play with friends. And so is Emily. I'm extremely ready to go back to normal just in terms of um, my own teaching. She is a fully vaccinated Baltimore County teacher who is ready to leave the home classroom behind. <laughs> In fact, we met in their backyard, what's become the schoolyard during the day recently. To be able to um, help students by having the extra time to help students in the way that they need it. We made it work somehow, so I recognize the, how fortunate I am in that circumstance because I know a lot of other people have really suffered through it. And even as Hunter hit the ground running at home, Archie, Archie. he needed to get a little bit of that normalcy back of like what does instruction look like because his teachers are doing a phenomenal job of giving the instruction, he's just having a really hard time maintaining the attention to the instruction. A week ago, his attention was back here, where they wanted it, inside Roland Park Elementary Middle. First day he comes home and we're all anxious to talk to him, like, how did it go? And he was like, it was fine. And I think he said, I liked recess, and I didn't like that I had to do work. And I was like, well, of course you were gonna have to do work. That's what school is. The schoolhouse is where Emily would like to be as well. I just want their experience to be a positive one. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect. I'm a teacher who's going to go back into the classroom, and I know it can't be perfect for my own students, but I want it to be still positive. Like, oh, yeah, it wasn't fun. We had to do this, but we got to do this, which we haven't done in forever. A return to normal after a year on the run. In Baltimore, Jason Newton, WBAL TV 11 News. From the return of sports and schools and how districts are managing the new life in the classroom and on the field to every aspect of getting a vaccination. We have complete coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic in the WBAL-TV app and WBAL-TV.com. You'll find detailed explanations of Maryland's restrictions, state and federal guidance, and get help finding vaccination sites and how to sign up for an appointment. And be sure to turn on push alerts to get breaking news updates sent right to your phone. <laughs>